Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so you guys know what that means. When you guys see that meme, we have another Pissy Pied Piper story, okay? So what's going down with the Pissy Pied Piper now is this. So yesterday, R. Kelly posted an emotional video. Well, you could tell he was almost damn near crying. And basically, he's really upset because his concerts keep getting canceled. And he's saying that it's not his fault. He's not understanding what's going on. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video of R. Kelly basically breaking down. Check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Kells, man. And uh, first of all, I want to apologize to all my fans in Chicago and basically all around the world, wherever, you know, I'm performing at, and they canceled me. Um, I don't know why they canceled the show. Uh, I never heard of a show being canceled because of rumors, but I guess it's the first time for everything, so I apologize to you guys. And in the meantime, I'm going to try to get to the bottom line of it, you know, uh, as far as my lawyers are concerned. And, see exactly what happened and why I was canceled. Uh, until then, man, I love y'all and I'll see y'all on the next it's come around. You understand? I hope you guys, you know, don't put that on me. You know, it ain't on me. All right? One. Well, y'all just saw that video, honey. So if you guys don't know, once his video went viral, the hashtag Mute R. Kelly started trending all over social media yesterday. So now the Women of Color Committee, that's part of the Time's Up movement, like Ava DuVernay, Oprah Winfrey, Shonda Rhimes, and Journey Sumlet Bell, basically they're coming out and they have issued a letter wanting RCA, Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, and numerous concert venues around the country to drop R. Kelly. They're saying that, you know what, this this man has been just doing some perverted shit for the past 20 something years and now we're finding our voices we're standing up and we want our kelly band i'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys a small snippet of what they had to say go ahead and check this out so they're saying today we join an existing online campaign called mute r kelly over the past 25 years the man publicly known as r kelly has sold 60 million albums toured the globe repeatedly, accumulated hundreds and millions of plays on radio and streaming services. During this time, he has also married a girl under the age of 18, was sued by at least four women for sexual misconduct, statutory rape, aggravated assault, unlawful restraint, and furnishing illegal drugs to a minor, was indicted on 21 counts of child pornography, has faced allegations of sexual abuse and imprisonment of women under the threats of violence and family harm, Together, we call on the following operations and venues to cut ties with R. Kelly, to join us, and insist on the safety and dignity for women of all kinds. All right, so that's what the Time's Up movement had to say. This is why the whole mute R. Kelly thing is going viral. So I find the situation very interesting. I see a lot of folks saying, oh, so y'all can mute R. Kelly, but y'all's not trying to mute Harvey Weinstein, and y'all's not trying to mute, insert whatever man done, you know, did some sexual deviant shit here. My thing is this, at the end of the day, we're talking about R. Kelly right now, and R. Kelly definitely needs to be put on mute. He's done a lot of just ratchet, crazy stuff. He's been accused of a lot of things. You know, so I find this whole situation interesting. What I even find more interesting is the fact that R. Kelly is just, he just seems to be so oblivious and just so confused as to why all of this is happening. I don't get why my concerts are being canceled. I don't understand what's happening to me. And it's like, R. Kelly, are you not watching the blogs? Are you not watching the television? Dude, everybody around you is jumping shit. You know damn well why this is happening. You know what I'm saying? And in the event you don't know, how about you call your publicist? How about you call your damn lawyer? Oh, you can't because they jump shit like some damn rats, okay? You're basically on your own and time's up for you, R. Kelly. You've been sitting here doing a lot of deviant shit over the past 20 something years and a lot of women are now refusing to stay silent. You cannot pay people off any longer people are coming against you and you need to figure out what to do
you know, so this whole situation is just crazy. Now, I'm the type of person I don't believe in somebody just getting, you know, persecuted by the media and by social media. At the end of the day, I don't want anybody prosecuted unjustly. But what I do want is a thorough investigation, okay? And if he's found that, you know, all of this shit was copacetic and these women are supposedly lying, then so be it. But what I want done is a thorough investigation. And if it's found that, you know what, he's guilty of these, then he needs to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law like anybody else. There should not be two rules in this country. There should not be a rule for the rich and famous and the powerful and then a rule for just the regular smuggler person, period. I've always stood on that and I believe that. You know, so it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. It's going to be very interesting to see if Apple Music and iTunes and Spotify end up removing R. Kelly's catalog. You know, if these venues end up stopping his concerts because it seems like a lot of venues are now, you know, falling to the pressure and they're canceling a lot of his concerts. And he's definitely feeling the weight of that because now he's on social media crying. And like I've told you guys from Jump, this is how you bring somebody down. You don't sit there and fucking rant and rave and fucking tweet all day. That doesn't do anything. How you bring them down is by hitting them in their pockets. And obviously R. Kelly's not being hit in his pockets because he's speaking about it on social media. He's very, very upset. He's losing money left and right. And that's how you bring somebody down. Okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning the ratchet pissy pie piper and him just being oblivious to why he's being canceled left and right and then how do you guys feel about the times up movement joining up with me too and basically demanding that r kelly be muted so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.